Hello, today's devotional can be found in Isaiah chapter 4, verse 6. And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat, and for a place of refuge, and for a covert from storm and from storm and from rain. All right, so here's the thing. The Lord provides many things for us, for our comfort, for our happiness, and for our convenience and for our good. It's up to us, however, whether or not we take advantage of what the Lord offers us. I mean, he wants to help us. He wants to see us happy. He wants to see us as comfortable as we can be, despite the many trials and growth spurts that we may receive through life. But some people would rather endure all things painfully than turn to God. It's hilarious that some people would rather ignore a God they can't see and endure all the pain on their own instead of partaking of the atonement of Jesus Christ and having faith in the unseen and embracing all that is good and great. I mean, it's stunning to me. It really is. People would rather do things on their own and prove themselves by themselves than rely on a higher power for help just because they can't see it, just because they don't have concrete proof of, his, of God's existence. I mean, people get tired so easily and God gives strength whether or not we can see him. We see him through his works. We see him through his love for us and the miracles he gives us each and every day. We see him through the good things that happen. And we cannot blame him for the bad things that happen because Bad things happen because people make decisions. And he can't interfere in the decisions of people. I mean, he can do his best to protect as many people as he can from the, the bad decisions that people make, but he can't interfere in people's agency. But those who make bad decisions will become accountable. God wants us to be happy. God wants us to be safe. God wants us to be loved. And yet people are sometimes so narrow-minded that they don't want those things for themselves and they'd rather suffer. And not take advantage of blessings because they want to have success on their own merits. Well, guess what? We don't even own our merits. The Lord owns our merits. He gives us the strength that we need to be able to go on and do great things. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.